Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopists. In this video, I'm going to talk about image quality metrics, how to quantify your image quality using a reference image. And this is a question I got uh, quite a bit from, uh, from you guys, from the viewers. So I thought of actually summarizing a whole bunch of metrics into one video. Now, I did talk about uh, image quality in one of my previous videos, especially the recent one, video number 114, that's titled Automatic Image Quality Assessment Using Brisk, B-R-I-S-Q-U-E. And this is a no reference image quality assessment. And in fact, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about one other way of doing no reference, like basically estimating the sharpness of an image. Now for this tutorial, again, let's focus on using a reference image and using another image and trying to compare these two images. Now, Scikit image itself actually has quite a few features uh, when it comes to this. Let me try to zoom into this page so you guys can read it. Now, if you look at scikit-image.module, I mean, sorry, dot, uh, dot measure, one of the modules of scikit image. It has, uh, for example, mean squared error. That's something you can use. Normalized root mean squared error. And compare peak to signal noise ratio, which is probably something that you guys already use anyway. And also something called structural similarity index. Again, I, I didn't manage to get this thing working, but go ahead and do it uh, uh, and, and try this out. So these are the four that I recommend from Scikit image. In addition to this, I found a library. Of course, you can write these things up yourself if you want, yeah? But there is a library uh, that exists already out there and apparently it was updated uh, or released on November 21, 2019, so it's fine. Uh, uh, looks like it's uh, quite recent. So go ahead and pip install S-E-W-A-R. And this is, uh, uh, all it's doing is it's basically, uh, you can copy the code from here if you want. Yeah, they have a link to the code right there, which takes you to this page. And here you can basically see how these things are done. Of course, it also includes standard ones like mean squared error, uh, the one that scikit image already has. And it's just calculating the mean squared error, right? So this is your input image. This is, uh, I mean, the reference image. And this is P is your uh, image that you're calculating you know uh, that you're comparing against your gt or the uh, or the reference image in this case and then root mean squared error is basically you're squaring this and then uh, uh, uh well this is just mean squared error and root mean squared error is just a square root of your mean squared error yeah so looking at the code you can kind of understand exactly what's going on in the background like peak uh, signal to noise ratio for example it calculates the mean squared error and gets that value and then performs this log uh, uh logarithmic of maximum squared divided by mean squared error, which means if you use your same image as reference, you know, your mean squared error value will be zero, right? So if there is no difference between your reference image and uh, the image that you are uh, trying to compare, then your mean squared uh, error value would be zero, which means your peak signal to noise error uh, uh, value would be infinity. Let's check this out uh, anyway when we do this. And they also have like a few other additional things like universal image quality index, okay? Uh, so nothing, nothing rocket science here, basically uh, playing with statistics. And if you have time and if you have skills, go ahead and uh, uh, code it yourself. But because these guys already have it, let's go ahead and use these, okay? Uh, ERGAS, again, error, uh, again, this I guess is in French, but uh, it's a relative global error that, you're, uh, that they're looking at over there, okay? So this is the plan. Now let's jump into our scikit, uh, uh, sorry, our spider IDE. And I've already coded this, so uh, I don't waste your time, uh, you know, sharing at the screen when I type it. So here, what are we trying to do? I'm uh, taking a reference image and an image where I added 25 sigma of noise. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and look at these two images. And if I can open my BSC, again, I'm using Windows Viewer, so the opening is a bit slow on my system. So here is the reference image, nice and clean, okay? And again, I downloaded this image just by Googling some image, you know, on uh, 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 backscattered image. And here is uh, the noise that got added. So let's use these two. And again, go ahead and try blurring the image or actually try on real images. Obviously, that's the whole point of this uh, uh, video, right? So uh, let's actually, uh, 
run these lines and these lines is basically again we are reading uh, the image and reference image first uh, I added this line so I'm saying that my image that I'm trying to compare against is also the reference image so in a way I'm comparing reference image versus itself initially and then let's change it later so the scikit image uh, uh, functionality here you know I'm uh, uh, importing the mean squared error from measure right I mean this is the one we saw as part of uh, scikit image compare MSC compare uh, NR MSC and PSNR and so on so uh, all I'm doing here is uh, mean squared error uh, normalized root mean squared error and peak signal to noise ratio and then the first image is the reference image second one is the one that we are comparing against the uh, reference so PSNR is also uh, and, and let's go ahead and print these values out to get a quick understanding of exactly what's uh, going on so let's run these lines now we are comparing the original image against uh, uh, itself right I mean reference image and uh, the image over here so here are uh, the values values uh, 621 for mean squared error which doesn't make sense so am I doing what am I doing here so uh, probably I did not run this line you see uh, uh, these values I mean I was expecting my mean squared error to be zero because there is no error between the same image itself so I did not run this line let's do this in a methodical way let's actually run these lines and hopefully now we should see our mean squared error has a value of zero because there is no difference between the reference image and the reference image. It's the same image, yeah? And uh, same thing with peak signal to noise ratio. The value is infinity because we just looked at how uh, the PSNR is calculated, right? So it has divided by mean squared error. So if you divide it by zero, then, well, it's indeterminate and you have a value of infinity right there. Root mean squared error is also zero. In fact, let's run all of these other ones. In fact, if I scroll down, uh, it, it says ERGAS. This is the value that these guys actually have at SEWER, S-E-W-A-R. And uh, we just looked at one of these parameters is uh, ERGAS. Yeah, right, this one. It's actually calculating this. Uh, let's get back. Uh, it's actually calculating global relative error. And uh, all I'm doing is again uh, imported the ER uh, sewer S C W A R, and then I'm importing uh, certain uh, you know uh, parameters right there. Uh, so now uh, ER G A S is full. I mean, I'm basically importing full ref and no ref. I'm not using no ref, so I may as well um, delete this. Okay, and only the use the full ref. And uh, within full ref, we have E R G A S. We have uh, MSSSIM and again all of these are part of this all of these are part of this uh, uh, class full ref okay uh, all of these functions now uh, I mean I can talk about each one of these uh, you uh, I'll let you do that homework here and you can calculate uh, for example PSNR I gra grade it out because we are already doing it as part of our scikit image so it prints exactly the same value by the way and root mean squared error and uh, spectral angle mapper and a whole bunch of these parameters now how you use these it's up to you right so now you can have a whole bunch of images and you can say okay I'm changing my experiment is my image uh, uh, changing or you know and then you can quantify it and you can set a threshold of where you want to cut it off or you can have a whole bunch of images and and say that okay uh, I want to analyze these images but if you are but if your uh, uh, image quality, whatever it is, spectral correlation coefficient or whatever, or you can look at all of these image qualities and say, okay, on average, if these uh, image quality metrics are fall below or you know a certain acceptable limit, then I'm not gonna uh, you know uh, analyze those images because those are crap those are crappy images and I'm not gonna waste my time, right? So it's up to you how you would use this. But let's go ahead and run it and print these values one by one based on uh, comparing these two. So now, so the RMSC based on scikit image, again, it's giving us zero. We already looked at it. Uh, ERGAS also looks like it's zero. Let's look at, uh, uh, sometimes it can be a bit slow, some of these uh, calculations, but most of them should be pretty fast. Okay, so now if you look at this, again, uh, mean squared error is zero, 
global relative error is zero because there's no difference between these two images. Uh, Multi-scale structural similarity index, as the name suggests, it says it's a similarity. Apparently the output is a complex number. It says that, okay, the similarity is one. That means both images are equal. Peak to signal noise ratio, infinity, we already saw that. And it's giving us a warning that there is a divide by zero encountered, which we know for peak to signal noise ratio, it's gonna happen. Root mean squared error, uh, apparently this is calculated using the, the function that's part of this uh, full ref. And that's also zero, zero, and similarity is one. And universal image quality index is one here. And also pixel-based visual information fidelity. Now, if you really want what that actually means, you can always go back to this code and then look at exactly what the code uh, you know is trying to do, okay? So uh, this is also almost equal to one. Now let's actually do it uh, between two different images. So a reference image here and the image that's uh, uh, where 25 sigma noise has been added. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so as you can see, our mean squared error now has a, a, a positive value of 621. Again, what it exactly means, this is, this is just looking at uh, every pixel value. So exactly what this means, it completely depends on your specific application, whether that's acceptable or not acceptable, okay? So that's why you should do this exercise yourself. Peak to signal noise is 20.19, blah, blah, blah. And uh, root mean squared error is, uh, by the way, if you look at the peak to signal noise, uh, measured using scikit image and peak to signal noise measured using the function that these guys actually provided as part of this uh, SEWAR package, they are exactly the same. So uh, that tells you the map, uh, sorry, the math is uh, the same, well, kind of, almost the same, uh, 20.1944, yeah, it's exactly the same for peak to signal noise right there, okay? And uh, RMSC here, and again, this I believe uh, psychic image is a normalized root mean squared error where they're normalized to, I believe the uh, uh, pixel value, but here the root mean squared error is not normalized. But anyway, you have a whole bunch of these uh, 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 parameters that you can actually use for uh, for your uh, for your own purposes. So go ahead and uh, use this. And in the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about uh, not using a reference, again, based on a published paper uh, this time. So please uh, watch the next tutorial also. So thank you very much for your attention. And I hope you found this to be a useful tutorial. If not, well, at least you learned something new.